Hi class, so what I want to do in this video here is I want to walk you through a version of your statistical project here. And so what I have here is I have a table below that shows the year open and the year close, so the year open and year closing price, for the S&P 500 stock index. And this is from 2011 to 2020. And um, what you have here is to see here, I have the year, the year open, the year close, and then the, the annual percent change. So it's just the percent change from how much it opened to how much it closed as. Okay. And so what I'm going to do in this project here, or in this video here, is I'm going to show you how to do everything using Excel and also the website that I reference in, uh, in the project uh, itself. <clears throat> um, you know, in my sample lectures and stuff, I show you how to use the graphing calculator to, to do a lot of calculations and stuff. And you're more than welcome to do that. Um, but uh, here I want to show you, especially how to get like the graphics and stuff like the, the, the box plot and things like that. Okay. All right. So for this project, here's what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to analyze this S&P 500 stock index. And, and what that stands for, it's the Standard and Poor, uh, and it's the 500 largest companies in the, in the United States. Okay. So the first thing it says here is compute the mean, median range, and standard deviation for the annual percent change. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this data, and I'm going to up in the corner. You're going to see this this little like arrow thing here. I'm going to take it, and I'm going to copy it, and I'm just going to paste it into Excel. All right. So here's what I want. I'm, I want to be able to find the mean, median. See what else it's asking for. Mean, median, range, and standard deviation. So in Excel, you can do this actually very, very easily. Okay, so you can go equals, and then to find the, the mean, you can go average. And then it's going to say select the, the values you want. So I want it for the annual percent change. So I'm just going to highlight everything. And it'll tell you, like, look, over this, over this period, over this 10 year period, right? It's saying on average, this stock index returned 11.53%. You can do equals the median, and it's the same thing. The median return was 12. So the range, so if you go equal, you notice there's no range. So what you can do is you can do equal the max value, highlight, close minus the min value because that's the, and then highlight the same thing. And you can see here the range was, was pretty big. For standard deviation, you it's S, T, D, E, V, and then you're gonna do dot P. It's, the, it's a population here instead of a sample because you actually have all the, the full values. And then you're gonna select the values. And you can see here that, you know, I'm gonna change this to a percentage. And so, you know, pretty big percent change, okay? It's almost the same value as, as the mean here. All right, so then after I do that, I'm gonna just highlight this, copy this table that I made, and you can actually write this out. You don't have to do a table if you don't want. And I'm just gonna paste it right in here. All right, so on your own, what it's gonna say is also the standard deviation is a measure of risk, okay? So does investing in the S&P 500 have some risk? So think about, you know, what a standard deviation measures, okay? It measures, it's in, it's tells us some, some measure of the spread of the data. And think about the, the standard deviation in terms of, um, you know, how big it is compared to the mean. All right, so I'll, I'm gonna put this here, answer. On your own. I'm, I'm, I'm very interested in, 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 in what you think, okay? All right, so the next question says, all right, from here, use Microsoft Excel or this website to construct a box plot for the annual percent change. So in Excel, it's actually very easy, depending on the version of Excel you have. What you're going to do is you're going to highlight the column or the data that you want. You're going to go insert. And then I have an updated version of Excel here. So mine says recommended charts. So I'm gonna click on recommended charts. I'm gonna go over to all charts and it wanted this box plot. So I'm gonna click, here's the box plot. And then I can change the title. Like this. 
what you can see here, it has the annual percent change along the side and just, just the box plot that you've learned about in your, in your lecture. So I'm gonna copy this. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit Control C. And then when I go to paste it in here, okay? I'm gonna go paste and then I'm gonna go paste special and you're gonna to wanna to paste the picture here, okay? Oop. I have the, the saved here, previous copy. Sorry about that. Paste and then the picture and it'll paste the, the, the box plot in here. Now you'll notice here it says, you know, if you don't like Excel or you can't find it, there's this website that I reference. So when you click on this link, it'll take you to this, this website here. And you'll notice there's this, there's this tab called box plot. So what it's gonna ask you to do is it's gonna ask you to enter your data. All right, it says comma separated data. So if you take this data here, copy it and paste it in here, all right, and, and hit submit data, it, it's, it's gonna give you an error. So what you have to do unfortunately here is after you put the comma, you're gonna have to remove the percentages and then just literally write it in as comma separated. So subtract it and then have every data value subtracted by a, or separated by a comma. So it's a little bit arduous, but um, you can see the process here. So literally just put everything in, remove the percentage sign, and then have all the data separated by a comma, okay? And then when you hit submit data, here you can see your the, the box plot. And it's gonna be the same box plot here. So I'm gonna copy the image, and then you're gonna to have to do paste, and then as a picture. And so the next question says, you know, Pesha, do you see any outliers? So I'll leave that up to you. You know, looking at here, there, there are no outliers in this box plot here. Um, you know, but, but this is a way that you can get the box plot using Excel or this website. All right, let's see what the next question asks us. Okay. Ah, now it says use Microsoft Excel or the website to construct a scatter plot of year close and the year. Okay. So I'm going to go back here. So I want the year and the year close. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to to make it make it a little easier for myself, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this data, I'm going to put it into a new sheet, and I'm going to delete the middle column just so I have them right next to each other like this. If you have them to put together like this in Excel, what you can do is you can just highlight the two columns together, go insert, go to the recommended charts, and you're going to want a scatter plot, and you're going to want it so it looks like this. All right, you're going to only want, you know, here you see the two dots. No, no, you just want one dot here. So I'm going to click this. I'm going to click OK. And here you can see, whoops, you know, the, the scatter plot for it. And you can look and see that it, it does look like there's a, a, a linear relationship. So again, I'm going to copy. I'm going to paste the picture. And you can see right here. Now to use this website, okay, it's a little bit harder, all right? So what you're gonna want here is you, you see how it says scatter plot generator? I'm gonna click on that. And it says to enter your data as X, Y, all right? So if you take your data from Excel like this, you don't want the top here anymore. You're gonna put it in like this. If you hit copy and put it in, what you have to do is you have to remove the dollar sign and then have it as the X value comma Y. And so you have to make sure to remove any uh, erroneous or extra commas that you have. So it has to look like this, it has to look nice and neat like the following here. And it's a little bit of a pain, I know, I'm sorry. You can see that even I'm struggling here a little bit. But you just have to remove that extra comma because you don't want the extra 
extra comma there. But it's going to produce the same scatter plot when you do this correctly. Okay. All right, so we should have it like this. So I'm just going to copy the data again just so I have it. And boom, right there. Okay. So you can, uh, well, I'm going to recopy the data. So I'm going to copy this image. And again, I'm going to paste this, paste the picture. And you can see here, it looks like there is a positive uh, linear trend. Okay, so it looks like trend to the data. All right, so now we're going to get into the regression stuff. All right, find the best fit line. Now you have to pay really close attention to this. Find the best fit line, all right, for year close, and I'm defining X as years since 2011, okay? So what I'm gonna have to do here is create a new X variable. So X is years since 2011. So you would have had to have watched um, my video on time series regression, okay? And that explains exactly how to do this. So this will be zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, since it's years since 2011 here, all right? So to do this in Excel, all right, um, what you can do is you can go equal slope and it says known Y values and you can select the Y values, comma, and this is now our known X values. All right, and this is the slope of the regression line. To find the intercept, you go equals intercept, and then you do the known y's, comma, the known x's. Or at this point, by the way, you could also use your, your graphing calculator, okay? So it looks like this slope is uh, $245.15. So we have y is equal $245.15 times our x variable plus our intercept, which is $1,200.94. And what's really great here is I want to show you how to use that uh, website really quickly. So if I recopy this data, okay, and go back to the to the website here, and you see this thing called uh, a linear regression. What I'm going to do here is I have to change this data. You're going to have to change your x values: zero, one, two, three, four. A little bit of a pain. And you have to be careful how you do this. Zero, one, two, three, four. You've got to be meticulous. Five, six, seven, eight, nine and then hit enter. You can see here, it puts the, the, the regression equation up here, but it shows it a little differently. Here you can see the slope is 245.15, which is what we had, and 1294, uh, or, or 1294. So it's the same thing. So you can use Excel, you can use your graphing calculator, or you could use this. All right, next it says, find the value of the correlation coefficient. What's great about this website is you can just literally un hit this correlation coefficient here and it tells you right there. It saves your data over. So it's R is equal to 0 0.9627 uh, when we round it. All 
or in Excel. Let me show you quickly how to do that in Excel. All right. It's equal and then C O R R E L. And then it says array one. You can select your X values, array two, select your Y values, and you get the same thing. Okay. You get the, the, the same exact thing. All right. Finally, it says uh, here, okay, use your best fit line to predict the, the year close price in, in 2021. Okay. So look, we, we have it up to the year 2000. Okay, so what what does our line say when we predict it for 2021? So in 2021, x is equal to 10. So you're literally just going to take 10 and plug it into our equation here. So you can use any calculator for this. So you're going to go 245.15 times 10 plus 1200.94. Zero, zero, and look, what we're saying here is it's $3,652.44 is our estimate. All right, class, I'm going to attach uh, my Excel work and this sample project there for you um, in, in the classroom here. And I know this was just quick, all right? What I really wanted to show you how to use here was Excel and that website to get these 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 graphics here, all right? If, if you like using your graphing calculator, you're more than welcome to use graphic calculator. Sometimes that's just easier um, for, for like the regression line and R, things like that. Um, but as always, if you have any questions, you know, please let me know.